Hello everybody, welcome back to the shop for your Tuesday Dose Bob TV, baby. Okay guys, I got a set of these gear doors ready to lay up for my A4. And I'm going to start out some of my clear right white resin. 2108 from Associated Industries, baby. I have a link on my website. They sell small amounts of this stuff, guys. You can buy a quart, you can buy a gallon. And, um, used to be all they sold is large amounts of everything. You know, resin, glass, and all that, but they are uh, starting to sell even small amounts of uh, peel ply and stuff, like 10 yards and quantities and fiberglass and all that. But the only thing they don't have is real lightweight fiberglass. And I get that from, uh, um, I'll think of it here in a minute. <laughs> uh, Taylor, Taylor Craft. Yeah. Oh, I like the Thayer Craft. T H A Y E R. Thayer Craft. And uh, they sell all kinds of stuff. This is uh, some one ounce cloth. I like to use as my first layer on pretty much everything. On the fuselages and stuff and big wings, I'll use a three ounce first. But I usually put this on the inside of a lot of stuff. But my wings and stabs and rudders I use as my inside layer on the inside of the foam. Yeah, guys, we went to uh, fly the A4 Sunday. Oh, it was nice out. Just a gorgeous day. Just ready to get the maiden flight on it, you know. And uh, I was uh, just going over everything in the pits. And my elevator servos were acting funny. Uh, one of them wouldn't center. It would stay up for a minute and then come down and the same way when you pulled full up it'd go about three quarters hesitate and then go I thought man I I just don't like that so I just decided to get a taxi test in and it's probably a good thing because Calvin my cameraman has got that couch stuck to his butt <laughs> and he couldn't make it no, he said he had a wedding to go to, but honestly, I think that couch is stuck, man. <laughs> I think he had some CA in his back pocket. <laughs> and planted it, and he's been stuck ever since. I told him we can call the fire department. They'd bring out the jaws of life, and we'll get that couch free, and <laughs> but, <laughs> but anyway, he said he had a wedding to go to. But anyway, uh, went out and taxied around a little bit, and I came back, and that elevator servo had quit working altogether. So it's probably a good thing I didn't try and fly it. And I'm not sure why it quit, but I ordered uh, some more. I ordered some yesterday from Servo City. I'll be dang they didn't show up today. But I got the I got two of the high voltage ones. Uh, a little better servo, about twice the price. But I don't want that happening again, you know. But anyway, today I'm gonna make up some parts. 
and install my servos after I get these in a vacuum bag and we're going out Thursday again for the remaiden the retry anyway okay now I'm going to put some heavy old carbon and these are my gear doors man and uh, one of them tough 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 and this is some thick old carbon bit on the heavy side but once you get it saturated it kind of softens up a little to plan anyway Put that straight off. I'm putting this one to save carbon. We'll put that in two pieces. It's hard to see. Okay, there it is. See where this stuff stops and starts. Okay. You see when I put this in, it'll kind of mash it all down. Yeah, baby. That's what we're talking about right there. Oh. Forgot to do one thing. Guys, I'm trying to get back into the swing of things. Uh, that aneurysm deal kind of set me back. I, I'm, I'm fine now. I'm feeling a lot better. But them pills, I think, kind of what zapping my energy a little bit. But my doctor said I'll get used to them and it'll get better. So, just kind of bear with me. I do what I can and There's still a purpose for me. I think that's why I'm still here. <laughs> you know, I don't know what it is. It might be just you guys are my purpose. <laughs> I don't know, so I just got to keep trucking. Keep on trucking, baby. Remember that song from the 70s? <laughs> okay. We don't really want to overlap this a lot. Just a little. Bang. Bang. Bam, baby. I gotta get some point got to be a busy week this week. I've got to get some more parts laid up. I gotta get ready for Tucson. Yeah, me and Bill, my buddy Bill is going to Tucson, so and you guys live close, come on out. Always use the extra hand in the pits. Even if you ain't got a jet. It's still gonna be some fun. Be some good pilots there, man. There's this one old boy. He lives down there. 
and he is really good, man. A good time. Them Arizona boys, let me tell you, a lot of them is retired fighter pilots. <laughs> and they like to sit around and talk about the day they was chasing down a MiG. <laughs> you know, from Nom days. and Just a great bunch of guys down there. I really enjoy going there. That's one of my favorite places to go. It's so friendly. You know, I have been to jet meets where they're just not real friendly people. I don't want to um, start anything, or so I'm going to just um, stop right there. But <laughs> I have been to jet meets where people just wasn't just real friendly. Enough about that. Honey Will Bob TV's about. Well, TV's about making jets, baby. Making them fly. So we're going to douse this with resin. Just douse it, because remember, all the extra stuff comes out. You know? You just want enough. You want to make sure there's enough. I'd always rather have too much than not enough. Know what I mean? There, Vern. And old Peter, I was even wearing that hat you sent me from Australia. You want to see if it was my new lucky hat? <laughs> <laughs> well, I ain't gonna let that stop me. That little incident we had with the servo. At least I wasn't flying. And when it quit working. But it's always kind of acted funny. It, uh, I don't know. Just from the start, it was just... It was just kind of acting a little funny, and I was looking it over, and I'm, boy, am I glad I did. That A4 would be a total loss by now. See, this is my, I'm putting this same three-quarter on the top. That's all I usually put um, on the inside. That's all it needs, you know. Or my one ounce, I mean not three quarter, this is one ounce. Now this is, I like to, when I'm glassing a wood structure, this, I like to use one ounce rather than half or three quarter. It just uh, works out better, you know. this off you know on bigger stuff I make templates and don't have this waste well uh, you know you always end up throwing a fistful in the trash anyways and that ain't much you know okay now goes the peel ply and I kind of like to put this in pieces too because it helps helps it lay flat when it starts going under the vacuum my Kevlar shears works the best to cut this stuff 
And I got these at Lowe's, man. These were 12 bucks. But you see that serrated edge? That's what makes them cut that Kevlar so good. I'm going to split this again. Because you don't want your peel ply to keep your part from getting sucked down to the mold. See, so I'll put this piece here and this piece there so it can move a little bit. You know what I mean? your matting touching your glass nowhere so your pill ply has got to be plenty big enough smaller than your pill plot. Bam. Now we got a little exposed corner right there. So we're going to take Another piece of pill plot right there. Bang. Okay, we're good to go. This is ready for the bag. Okay. Got me a bag made up right here. get this other one laid up right quick and uh, when I'm ready to suck that down I'll make another video we'll see you back in the shop BAM